Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton. I just finished The Rental, directed by Dave Franco and starring both Dan Stevens and Alison Brie. Dave Franco, younger brother of James Franco, is one that you might remember from various comedy films such as Superbad, but much like but much like other directors that were originally comedians, such as Jordan Peele, it seems that Mr. Franco has gotten a real good sense of horror when it comes to his first film in the genre. And while it isn't perfect, I do think it does it does show that he has a, a bright future when it comes to directing films of this type. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story is that that two couples consisting of Charlie, played by Dan Stevens, Michelle, played by Alison Brie, and Josh and Mina, end up going to a rental house to have the to have the uh, weekend of a lifetime, with drugs, partying, all that good stuff. But when they figure out that there is some invasive technology inside their rental house, such as hidden cameras and the like, they realize they might not be as safe or as alone as they thought. But that's all I'll say about the story without spoiling anything. One thing I definitely liked about the film was that the relationship drama that's usually an anchor point with so many horror films is actually one of the stronger elements of the film, allowing actors like Stevens and Bree to play off each other in a very believable way that in a lot of horror films you usually don't handle, especially because there aren't any supernatural elements in this horror thriller at all. It's all just good actors giving good performances and, and of course, having some sinister things happening that are completely believable when it comes to the scenario that's going on. Even even though the really even though there's a lot of build up when it comes to the first half of the film to the point where there are barely any scares throughout the first half, the scares that eventually happen in the second half do feel earned, and it definitely shows and it definitely allows an atmosphere to set in despite the sh the movie's short eighty eight minute runtime. Even if some of the comedic dialogue can be a little bit of a hit or a miss. That includes both for the sophomoric gags that happen in the first half of the film, and when it comes to the more self, more attempts to, of self-awareness when it comes to some of the other characters when it comes in the in the second half. The characters are for the most part okay, but it definitely does feel like that they that it, a lot of the strength for them comes more from the actors that portray them than the actual writing. Which isn't to say that the writing is bad, it's just clear that these characters weren't given a lot to do, or a lot to, of traits to speak of. Plus, there are just some moments that do feel like they could have been cut out of the film and nothing would have been lost. Which is why some parts of the film do feel a little bit padded just to reach that feature length. Though, considering this is Dave, this is Franco's first directed film, I'll cut him a little bit of slack considering that you're not going to do perfect on your first time. And when it comes to the ending of the film, it's everything that you'd want in a horror film of this type. It has great twists, it has a lot of violence, it has some exciting it has some exciting cuts of act of action and horror and suspense. It's basically everything you'd want when it comes to this premise and when it comes to things that either go with or go against your expectations. In fact, I think James A. Janisse might enjoy going through this kind of film for the kill count. But if you do, but if you do feel that the first half goes by a little too slowly, and if you're not into films like this, you probably won't get a lot out of the rental. But to me, I think it is good for haha a rental, and I do think that. If you need a good horror film to tide you off for an hour and a half, it's definitely one of those movies. That's why I'm going to give The Rental a 7.5 out of 10. See you next time.